You know what? I could do this all night long. All night long. So cool. So this is probably the second most important and uh, most selling accessory for the Z Fold 3 after the phone case, which we're still in a quest of finding the perfect case for Z Fold 3. Um, but if you actually type in car mount for Z Fold 3, this will appear many times on Amazon. It will appear on uh, many different names of companies. But in the end, if you actually look at the charging, uh, wireless charging. It actually has all the same logo, which is QI. I think that's the name of the company. Um, but this is actually one of the recommended Amazon uh, product for the car mount for Z Fold 3 um, and so on. So I'm really excited about it because the one that we have at the moment for the car mount is the cup holder mount and the height itself is not high enough. Um, and the way how I mount it is also quite painful as well. You need a lot of strength with it. So I just want something to treat myself that automatically shuts, holds the phone and charge it at the same time where I could adjust the height of where I could display it as well, which is next to the main screen of my Mercedes C-Class, if you see what I mean. So I'm very excited about this product to upgrade my lifestyle in tech. So let's get into the unboxing. Here it goes. Okay, so let's cut this bit. That's so easy with this knife. And then open it up. And uh, let's see what's inside the actual box, shall we? Ah, before that, we got this small instruction, which I'm sure you don't need to look into it because it's pretty straightforward anyway. Uh, but please do have a look if you want to. Pause and have a look. Okay, so we got the actual mount itself, which I'm a bit puzzled whether it will be fitting quite well on our Mercedes car. Um, I think this is a vent mount, so you actually plug it in against the vent and it will hold it up. So that's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. That's how it looks like. I think you slot this in against one of the vents and then it, this will hold it up and support it and you put the frame around it. Uh, that's the actual charging cable. So the USB-C and the most importantly, that's the actual wireless charging unit that I think you press this button, it will slot out and slot back in uh, to hold your Z Fold Three. So I want to really focus on this mount because it seems to have this really sticky sort of uh, glueish kind of thing if you see what I mean. I don't know whether after long use and uh, direct sunlight whether this will actually damage the uh, surface of the bit that has actually been attached to. I ho really hope not because I want to keep our car in a really immaculate condition. But otherwise, sorry about the click sound early on. All you need to do is just lift it up and you can adjust the way how it can, how you can place your um, screen, if you see what I mean. Okay, so that's quite convenient, isn't it? So all you need to do is um, put this in here, I think, and then you slot this in here and then you basically tie it up. You can, let's say if this is mounted to your car, you can actually rotate it this way and that way it's very flexible. Okay, so there's the USB-C that you just need to put it in and um, you can actually see the blue light flashing. Ah, oh, look at that. And then what you need to do is place your Z Fold 3. I think it's this way. Oh, look at that. It's just all locked. It's brilliant, isn't it? So you can see that it's already charging at the moment and it's quite quick actually thinking about it. It's 74% and it only needs 51 minutes to charge it. Now, obviously it's quite well secured. It won't fall out. This will be a perfect scenario for me to drive. Um, but let's say if I would need to take a quick note, this is something I want to show you. 
All I need to do is just take off the pen. If I need to quickly make a note, that's what it's for, isn't it? So let's go on to the quick create note. And I could say, hello. And that's pretty much it. So it's actually mounted up here and that gooey kind of sticky stuff seems to be doing a really good job. So it's a really nice joint there. I can't see it falling off, but it will require a lot of weight anyway. So we got it here. And the reason I end up putting it there, I tried to put it this way, but it's actually going to cover the actual screen for the Mercedes uh, C-Class that we have here. You do have an option to put it onto this um, air grill, but then again, you lose the function of this one because you don't want the cold or hot wear blowing into it. I actually tried to put this one onto the other side here, but again, the phone itself is too big that you can't really do that. Otherwise, you can see the door smashing against it. So you gotta be really careful with that. You could actually perhaps do it, but then again, this bit that sticks out if it's sticking out then you close the door you can imagine it will actually smash against this edge here anyhow so i'm very happy with that the way how i put the wire is that on the c class you can actually put in the usb c cable connect it up and then i actually pull it out this way and then we got this pocket here so you could actually put a usb slot there and just every time when you close it because we hardly open up this one anyway but you just need to put it in between and that's nicely sealed so the moment of truth before we get into it make sure that it's actually slightly angled this way so it actually holds up when you take off the phone okay so when you actually put it, place it there look at that that's actually charging um, automatically uh, that's really good so it's 94 percent it's slightly angled but you could actually nudge it a bit um, there you go but I think some people might find the actual overlay screen option on this way is not really nice. I don't like the um, Google actually uh, street map in this way or Google map this way. So I'd rather ro locate it on that way. So it's longer and it's actually more viewable. Um, and I got the um, YouTube music there and also uh, YouTube on here as well. So I can actually play random music and so on. Um, yeah, you could actually move it around. It's quite flexible and so on but once you're finished again you just press the button and then you take it out so if you want to put it back in that's how we do it so that's really cool and it's right next to my mercedes display so i could really easily track the um, and see the google map when i drive it so that's all good to go so lastly the engine's off and you can see that the light is still on, but it's just the way how Mercedes is designed. Uh, you have to leave it for at least about five to 10 minutes and the whole power will go off and the blue light will actually come off. So no need to worry about the constant power consumption on the, through the USB. There you go, everyone. So the power is completely cut off and you can't see the blue light. So no worries on the continuing electrical consumption. So another great technology that upgrades your lifestyle. I mean, since um, our new member of our family arrival, um, I really got into driving and I really want to treat myself uh, by getting more into driving, if you see what I mean. And um, I really hoped initially that the cup holder mount will be good enough, but this is the next upgrade. Just a little bit of those automated um, open up and shutting in closing in the actual phone and then charging it those little elements that I don't need to do every single time when I get on the phone all I need to do is just uh, place my um, Z Fold 3 onto it this really helps and that's I guess that's the beauty about tech is that all these little slightly bits uh, tiny bits on your lifestyle if you can upgrade it overall in a um, few years of time you look back thinking how greatly your lifestyle has improved and this is one of the case uh, that actually signifies that example as well so i'm going to cherish this device i've obviously i'll stick with the actual mounting next to the monitor because that's the height i want to get into but also there's an option of placing it on the uh, the grill, AC grill as well on the car, which is this very clever device as well. So well done for it. And um, I really appreciate this new gadget indeed. So I hope this video clarified on my circumstances. If you have a Mercedes C-Class, please do um, try it out yourself. You're gonna love it. But if you have any queries, um, please do comment below and I'll try to be helpful as much as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.